tasted like a donkey's tank, but they get you fucked up. Yeah, I don't know how it does it. Oh, shit, look who it is. <laughs> Harry, what's your special today, boy? I don't know, man. Been having a creative block. No ideas. Hey, I was just telling JD about that nasty-ass wine you made using those Bojangles jelly packets, not half a biscuit. <laughs> Yeah, boy, that shit had a kick to it, didn't Man, it? Man, yeah, how about a uh, horse jizz? What the fuck, JD? What? It's a drink. It's beer and milk. Ugh, that sounds like some nasty shit you'd make up. Well, I ain't never heard of no horse jizz. You know what? Let me get one of those, dude. And my boy loves horses. He gets that from his mama. <laughs> usual for you, Farrah? Hell yeah, you better believe it. What's your usual Ferrari? Miller High Life and American Cheese Fries. Not that it's any of your damn business. Noted. All right. That looks good. Cheers, baby. Who let that fucking whore out? Fucking tramp in the whisker. If you find yourself behind the ball, pick up the phone and start making some calls to all your baby's daddies. They're bound to gather up some cash. This is just one formula that seems to stick. If the only thing you really want is to get rich quick. Look, man, you still doing that old middle school bullshit with her? I thought that was over with like months ago. Yeah, baby, you really gotta calm down about that. Put the past behind you. You and Tiffy spent some of the best days of your life together. Hey, Harry was right. Tiffy was the town slut and she had fucked my man, but she was my former BFF and them letters don't just mean nothing. I figured now was as good a time as any to start talking again. Hey, this is Dixie Belle. She old enough for an American cheese fry? Well, baby girl loves fries. Honey, I know we haven't talked for a while. Dixville's about to be one. Oh. And she's just the cutest little thing with all that cheese all over her little mouth. All right, now, I done forgave you for fucking my man, but that don't mean I got to swoon all over your little hump dumpling. <sighs> Although, I guess she is more cuter than I expected. Oh, I miss you, girl. Well, I reckon sometimes I just miss you a little bit, too. So we can be BFFs again? Slow up, bitch. You got to prove to me that you've mended your backstabbing ways before we can go back to BFF territory. But I guess we don't have to avoid each other at the trailer park no more. Well. <sighs> well, I'll be getting home. Gotta get to work. You drinking before work? Bitch, you got a problem. <laughs> you bitch. Like you wanna talk. Oh, it's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. Mama can get you a drink, too. Hey, she can have some of this. It tastes like shit. Harry, I don't know why you're surprised to find a drink called horse jizz. Ain't something you want in your mouth. Shit. Oh, don't worry. There's probably a real horse out there with plenty left for you. Bitch, I can't find Dixie Bell's formula. It's not in here. Hey, man, you got any more milk back behind the counter? You got the last of it right there. Shoot. Well, uh, I guess I can run up to the store for you if you want to. No, that's all right. I don't got any money anyways. My WIC check doesn't come in till next week. I guess I'll just have to go to Bobby Joe's. She has some there. Bobby Joe is Tiffy's mama. She weighed about 400 pounds and lived in a nasty ass trailer stacked floor to ceiling with boxes and bags of shit. I wouldn't be surprised to learn if she had some 10 year old crates of baby formula just stacked up in her bathroom or something. Hurry up and get that crying child out of here. She is harsh in my buzz. Farah, 
If you find it, will you please let me know? That shit costs $30 a can. Just bring it by my trailer. Thanks. Bye, y'all. Knowing that dumb bitch, she probably just left the formula at home. Sarah, you know, maybe you should go help Tiffy. You're pretty good at finding shit. And why the fuck do you care? I just think you should be a little more concerned. I mean, seeing as you're practically that baby's stepmama. Oh, no. We may be talking again, but I ain't fixing to adopt her crotch dropping. Now, Farrah, you do remember that I slept with Tiffy. Harry had fucked Tiffy once as an act of revenge, but she was already knocked up at the time. So either he was confessing an earlier indiscretion, or he really was stupider than I thought. Are you trying to tell me something? I'm just saying there's a chance that I'm that baby's papa. Harry, before I smack you upside your empty head, you answer me this straight. Did you fuck Tiffy just the one time? It was just the one time, but one time's all it takes, Farrah. I learned that in sixth grade. Harry, some way she was already pregnant. You can't get a pregnant woman pregnant. Oh, yeah? What about twins? Where do twins come from then? Oh, my God. All right. What Tiffy really needed wasn't just one can of baby formula. She needed to find her baby daddy. That way she could start collecting child support and not have to wait on no wit check. I decided to track that deadbeat down, starting at the whisker. Harry's off the hook. How about you, Carther? I know y'all hooked up at Skateland USA. You ever fucked Tiffy before then? Probably it's Tiffy we're talking about. All right then, pay up, five bucks. What for? Formula fun. It's cheaper than child support, so you ought to be thanking me. Fine. I was pretty sure Tiffy had bumped uglies with most, if not all, of the Whiskers' male customers, so I had no shortage of leads. Her and Travis McJunkin had actually been dating for a while right around the time she got knocked up, so I figured I'd start with him. Was you and Tiffy still together last January? Well, hello to you, too. Well, was you? You asking if I got her pregnant? Answer's no. We are on a break after I found out she cheated on me on New Year's. You done took a paternity test? Well, no, but I know it ain't mine. Tell that to the judge. Till then, you gotta give me five bucks. Formula fund. I ain't gotta do nothing, you drunk bitch. All right, then. I guess I ain't gotta keep it a secret. You used to ask Tiffy to lick your butthole. Okay. Fuck you, Farrah. No, I ain't into assholes. Neither kind. Hey, baby, you about ready to get gone? Wait just a minute. Damien, you ever fucked Tiffy? <laughs> Hell, who hadn't? You do about last January? Shit. I don't remember what year it was, but I know I boinked her once right in the middle of a fucking New Year's countdown. <laughs> Balls were dropping at right. <laughs> Ow! All right, then, that means you owe two. Five bucks. Hey, man, it's better than child support. That's a bunch of fucking bullshit. Take a paternity test if you don't like it, Pops. The next day, I woke up almost excited. I had hit on a gold mine. If I could get every man Tiffy had slept with to pony up five bucks, not only would she have plenty of money to replace her missing formula, but I'd have some left over to put a down payment on my jacuzzi. Hey, Farrah, is that you right there? It's me, baby. All right, wait for me just a sec, all right? Hurry up. All right, hold on, just a sec. Just set. All right, all right. Baby, look. I had a great idea last night. I think my creativity block is totally gone. Oh, baby, that's great. Now, uh, now, now, now answer me this. All right, what do you like better? White Southern or Vitamin Russian? I like knowing what the fuck you talking about. All right, baby, all I'm saying is I came up with an idea for a new White Russian last night. Now, it's made with energy powder. In fact, I'll make you one right now. You're gonna love it. No, nah, maybe later. I got shit to do. Uh, well, all right, well, let me tell you this. I, I'm thinking about having a party tonight for it. You know, I'm gonna debut that signature drink, baby. I guess you'll probably try it then. The guys who would be at the Whisker at this time of day would be the real drunks and losers. In other words, exactly Tiffy's type. I know being the nasty old man you are, you must have fucked Tiffy at least once in your life. If you can still get it up. That was years ago. I was alone. Five bucks. I 
ain't got no cash. Of course you don't. You gonna make an awful dad to baby Dixie Belle, just like you do to Harry. I ain't that baby's daddy. All right, you at least gonna buy me a drink. You know, Jerry, all your problems stem from your inability to keep your pants on. You should work on that. You ought to work on not being a nosy shrew. Get the hell away from me. Can't a man live with his regrets in peace? I questioned every loser that walked into the Whisker that afternoon. And by the time they was gearing up to start karaoke night, I had collected $135. Now, I still wasn't no closer to finding out which one of them put the bun in Tiffy's oven, but after I threw her a bone to cover the missing baby formula, that meant over $100 for my jacuzzi fund. Brain, eye, development, everything. Oh, hey, baby. Where you been, girl? Would you mind going back out there and maybe getting some pizza bites for the party? Maybe some of those uh, curly fries, what you put in the microwave? You can send Carther to get them. I've been working all day, and it is time for me to relax. Oh, all right, I think we got some Funyuns around here someplace. Baby, check it out. New drink I invented. Yeah, Harry done something real good this time, Farrah. He done found the magical formula for deliciosity. Check it out. It's pretty much a miracle, all right? Found this jug of protein powder on a stool in the slippery whisker. All right, brought it back here. I swear to God, it's like a sign from Jesus. Harry, what the fuck are you doing? Making you a drink, girl. Think I'm gonna call it Harry's White Vita Russian. Gonna keep the Russian in it so people don't get confused. Harry, this is baby formula, you fucking retard. Oh, shit. Well, you know, still got vitamins in it, right? This is Tiffy's. She lost it last night. You was there. You better take it back to her right now, cause her youngin's out there nuzzling on some 10-year-old maggot-infested shit out of Bobby Joe's closet. How about this? I buy her a whole new bottle with some of the money I've been making. See, I'm charging admission tonight to this party, made about 15 bucks. Well, it looks to me like you got enough for about half a can. I hope you got more friends coming over. How much one of those cans cost? $30. Shit. Well, Carter. Looks like we're gonna have to change the plan up. Yeah. <sighs> Y'all are the fucking worst. I deserve that. This was foolish. Possibly. Oh my God, Farrah, where did you find this? You saved Dixie Belle's life. I never did get to the bottom of who was Dixie Belle's daddy. I decided to leave that shit to Maury Povich. Honestly, just talking to all them men was exhausting. I can't imagine fucking them all. But altogether, today was a pretty good day. Got my BFF back, got a free beer out of Jerry, and best of all, I found the can of missing formula, which meant that every last one of them $135 was mine. Thank you so much, Farrah. You're my BFFE. Later, Tiffy. Bye. Dixie Bell? If your conscience tells you this is out of line, tell that voice to pipe down. You're only trying to make a dime. It's the only way to get rich quick. Do you want some fast cash in your hands? Make sure Dixie's custody ain't changing hands. Well, that formula is delicious.